Hey guys, Dr. Mike Dusa, MTFU Longevity. How are you today? Big fan of Bruce Lee. You might have saw what I wrote yesterday. Did a little article on him. Um, really a, an athlete and an actor and an icon before his time. Uh, Bruce Lee was so strong at 135 pounds. Oftentimes guys twice his size weren't as strong. There's a lot of reasons behind this. He was very, very introspective in his training, like I like to try to be. Uh, one of the premises that he always followed was to always keep the muscles under tension. Now, tension is not usually associated with things that are good. In this case, it is. In fact, um, if he were to do a, uh, uh, let's say, he were to do a push-up, uh, he would start by thinking about tensing his calves, locking his knees to engage the quadriceps, tensing his glutes, uh, his back, his arms, shoulders, pecs, um, triceps, everything. Because when you do that, you don't break the kinetic chain of energy and uh, it lends more energy to the muscle itself. I've said that in here before, you've heard me say that. Even when doing a curl, I think in terms of, it starts at my calves, then I think my thighs, my butt, my back, my pecs, my shoulders, and it all leads to this right here because engaging all the muscles of your body only lends more power and energy to that bicep, which is what, as opposed to jumping around and doing this. So really, it's, it's all about not breaking that kinetic chain of energy. Another thing Bruce Lee was known for was practicing something called isotension, uh, which I talk about here as well. In fact, I've said in the past, you'd see Bruce Lee, he would do a set of push-ups or something, and then he'd do kind of like a most muscular that looked like this. You know, it wasn't, wasn't really the classic, but he would do all these funky moves, and really what he was doing was he was extending the amount of time that the muscle was under tension. And I've even said that, like, after doing biceps, I'll always hit and hold, you know, I'll do a pose in between. And it's not always for vanity's sake, it's really, to keep the muscle in that, in that area. Because as we've said in the past, um, it's almost like occlusion training that you see here now where you're using a band and keeping the blood in the area that you're working. Because the more nutrition, the more blood, the better the pump, the better the growth. So Bruce Lee, I mean, shredded, not a big guy, but he practiced all of these things. And also another premise, do not let the weight control you. Make sure you lift the weight that you can lift. I know that sounds kind of nuts, uh, but what he said was, if you are, again, we use curl as an example. If you're doing this stuff, you know, you're not really, you're, you're just moving the weight. But if you're controlling it, the muscle should always be able to control the weight. And it's very important as far as getting from point A to point B. Because one of the hardest, one of the hardest things you could do is have weight in your hand and translate this weight to the muscle you're trying to work. Okay, it's easy to just move it, but are you affecting a change here? So really, do not lift a weight that you cannot lift. I know it sounds pretty basic. You'll see this all the time, guys doing that. You're not getting muscular. You will not get muscular doing that. You'll be able to lose a bunch, of, move, move a bunch of weight. But you see fellas all the time, they're doing that, but they have really no development. So I'm like, well, what is your goal? Just to say you're pushing them out of weight or to get the development? If you do that right and get the development, then you're gonna be able to push the weight anyhow. And finally, I gotta hit the abs. Bruce Lee agrees on training abs every single day. And I've always said that too. It might, it might sound kind of nuts. A lot of people say, well, I get incidental, uh, the, the abs get hit incidentally by doing benches and press downs and all that. That might be true. But remember something, just like the forearms and the calves, very dense muscle fiber. You're always using your hands and you're always walking. So it's harder for the, the calves and the forearms to grow only because you're using them all the time as it is. It's the same thing with the abs. They're always firing all day because why? They're keeping the spine erect. So I hit them and hammer them somehow every single day. I mean, I've got over 60 different ab exercises that I do. And you know, they're, they're starting to get sharper. Sharper by the day, I'm pretty happy with it. But really, it's intensity, it's focus, mindfulness, uh, knowing why you're in here. And Roman, my cameraman, a good friend here, will tell you, really the only time I talk when I'm in here is when we're shooting videos. Because to me, it's all business. Uh, some people, I don't really care, but they, they may think I'm a motherfucker or a douche or whatever. I'm not, I actually help a lot of people. <laughs> I know Roman before he knew me thought that. Uh, but really, it's all about mindfulness and being and knowing why you're in here, and that's how you're gonna get, you know, the biceps that stun and all that other stuff. So thank you, Bruce Lee. If you're shredded. I don't know if I could ever get that shredded, but I'll do my level best to get there. Dr. Mike Dusa, MTFU Longevity. Thank you, remember school is never out for the pro.